Hello fans of the RPG Fanatic Show and welcome to this first newsletter pertaining to the development and the progress that RPGFanatic.net has been making. Now, if you've seen the previous video, the one that's like half an hour long, this is actually being made before that one even goes live. So all the stuff I'm going to talk about here is stuff that is pertaining to the development uh, before the launch of that video. There hasn't been that many people contributing to the database right now. We've got about three people who've actually donated stuff. Most of them done by Ian, um, who's a longtime fan of the show. He's been watching me for, I think, for almost since the whole um, run of the show for the past three years. So thank you so much, Ian. Uh, you're setting an example for others to follow. Another thing is that I personally added all the database articles um, pertaining to the games that I've done reviews for. All the games that I've ever done a review for are in the database right now, along with a selection of games that I thought um, other people would probably be really interested in adding content for. That is World of Warcraft, Star Wars The Old Republic, I've done the Lufia games, the Lunar games is on there. Uh, there's lots of stuff. I added even the Dragon Slayer series. Some of the Final Fantasy games are on there, um, some of the Dragon Quest games are on there, some of the Ultimate games are on there. So there's a nice starter, really. Now I haven't added that much information to all of them. I, I seriously don't have enough time to write all the articles. I mean, this is like thousands and thousands of games that are eventually going to be in this database. I don't have time to do that. That's why I really need you guys to step up. You see a game that you really enjoy, that you're knowledgeable, uh, knowledgeable about, write an article for it. You know, add, add to an article. And please make sure that you cite um, sources when you can find them. And make sure you write uh, your credit in the uh, page author section below. And you do, do it using the format that I've already um, put forth and, and used on other pages when I cited myself or I cited Ian's work. That's very important because eventually an article is going to be locked. Once articles are completed so that they fulfill the needs uh, of someone who's trying to research the game, you know, every section is basically filled in, I'm going to lock it. And, and then future edits to that page are going to have to be suggested and then done by an administrator. I'm not going to say it's going to be a difficult process because it's really not going to be a difficult process. We'll eventually have a feed that says uh, proposed changes to this locked article and you'll be able to propose the changes and then someone will see that uh, and then make the decision to insert that uh, material into the page and then cite you as uh, the contributor of that information and the date was submitted and so forth. So um, that's why it's really important that people you know, start now. Because what you add to the site right now, it could be there forever. And um, if you're really interested in breaking into video game uh, journalism, this is a great way to do it. Because on Wikipedia, you'll actually be credited as uh, having contributed the information. And you'll be able to use that to, uh, in your resume. You know, I contributed this many articles to the rpcfanatic.net database. You could actually do that. And we will stand behind you. We'll have proof that you did that. It'll be right there in the page. Anybody can see it. Um, now I want to show you guys uh, other ways that you can use the website that I hadn't talked about in the previous video or for those who haven't watched because it's so long and you're just really bored. Um, we're going to go straight over to my computer and I'm going to show you the different types of content that you can upload to our database. It's not just the game uh, articles itself. We also have the submission feeds which makes the site kind of like game FQs in a way. Only there's some really big differences here. For example, we'll allow you to embed videos into your walkthroughs. When GameFAQs allows you to do that and actually assess the submission, they won't allow you to have any ads running on your video. Same with Giant Bomb. If you submit monetized videos to Giant Bomb, they will ban your account. I know they did it to me. And they told me that was the reason. Because I was spamming their website with my videos, you know, for commercial interest or whatever. I mean, isn't that silly? If you want people to make really great content and submit it to your database, they got to recoup the investment. You know, if I go to JDC and I do some interviews with some developers, it costs me money to get there. If I go to someone's offices in San Francisco, example, Congregate, you know, that costs money to do that. And you got to recoup, you know, at least the expenses. And I've got to tell you, I have not recouped any of the expenses that I have put into the show. I really haven't. I am way in the hole. I am I'm severely in the red. You know, I'm doing this for the love and the passion, and I hope that eventually the, uh, it, it pays off and I can continue to do other stuff, that I can hire people to work with me and pay them, you know. There's a lot of sites that don't pay people for writing for it. I'll give you an example, MORPG.com um, and all the little associated satellite sites. They don't pay people for writing for their sites. 
Because I tried and I asked about that when I submitted and they were my lukewarmly interested in my writing and I asked, you know, how much do you get paid? And they say nothing. I'm like, nothing? That's not right, you know? You're, they're making so much money off the ad impressions on the site, but you don't get anything back. So I wanted to make sure that I had a way to allow people, at least with video content, to embed their videos into the site and they can run ads on it and return the investment that way. So that is one big di significant difference between us and everybody else, is that we don't care if you're making some money off of your content that you submitted. We think you should make uh, make money off of it. And I'm still trying to find a really good way to allow people with their editorials to have their own um, monetary recruitment. Uh, I, I can't figure out a way to do that and actually abide by AdSense's terms, but I'm thinking, I'm trying to figure something out. In the meantime, if you absolutely want to just post a link to your own blog where you have your own AdSense, you can totally do that. It's absolutely cool. In fact, if you look at the featured contributors on my site, you'll notice that we have plugged their RSS feeds from their own blogs. And some of these guys, they have ads running on their own blogs. And that's cool. That's great. I'm not bothered by the fact that we're driving traffic to other people's stuff. It's getting seen. That's really what the website's about. The website is about sharing information and making a difference in the way that people learn about games and educate games and, and changing the world of game journalism. I don't want to have splash, you know, advertisements for a title. I don't want Sony to come to me and say, hey, we'd really like to promote, you know, our newest hottest title. Will you give us ad space on your site? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say, if you want promotion on my site, then give us developer interviews. Give us sales data. You know, talk to us. Give us real journalism. That is the best way that you can promote yourself on RPGFanatic.net. We are not going to sell you an ad space. If you see a video game ad, that's all generated by AdSense. It's all done through Google. It's not hand-picked for our website. It's basically upon whatever keywords are, are it's, it's grabbing. So it's not really targeted uh, like selling ad space directly to a publisher. We will never do that. I'm not going to say that we won't eventually have like tie-ins for something else which may not be video game related. You know, maybe some, com some uh, comic publisher, for example, would like to do some sort of you know, advertisement tie-in with us and have prizes and so forth. We'll totally do that. I'd be up for doing that. But not video games, because we cover video games. That just seems wrong, don't you think? That, that seems like a conflict of interest. So we're not going to do that. And I, I've talked too much here, so let's, let's dive over to the browser, and I will show you guys how to add walkthroughs, how to add video reviews, and, you know, and, and how much better it is than the other sites, and how they do it. All right, guys, so I ended up deciding to remake the video portion of this where I go through the um, how to add content to the site because we had so many great things happen um, since I actually released the site that I decided just to do a new one. So the first thing you're going to notice over here is that we have easy access to Let's Plays, to news, to reviews, to walkthroughs. Um, so if you're looking for a walkthrough, for example, of, say, I don't know, um, how to make money in Ragnarok Online, you know, how to make Zenny easily. You know, here's one tutorial that I made that talks about how to do that. You know, here's another one that I made. Here's one that I made on my leveling guide. And the leveling guide has been somewhat a little bit famous in the um, Ragnarok Online community recently since it's really targeted at renewal. Um, I've recreated the, uh, the walkthrough and posted it here on my uh, own website. And it mostly looks the same as it did on the uh, old website. Information is a little bit more compact uh, than it was before, but um, the videos are sized a little bit better, I think. We have our own internal uh, video player here, and it's very easy, actually, to insert your videos. And I'll talk a little bit about that um, right now, actually. First, let's uh, log into the account. If you've never logged into here before, I encourage you to use Facebook Connect or one of these other connections through Twitter and you know, Microsoft through Gmail and so forth. Uh, because our manual registration process um, might have an issue uh, when we send the email confirmation to you. Some email distributors, I guess, are not liking our email. Convert, uh, they're seeing it as spam or something. So it's a lot more reliable if you just use Facebook Connect to do it. However, my account is not through Facebook Connect because I have security things going on here. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to log in manually. So, hello Carrie, hello RPGFanatic.net. 
So let's go into um, my walkthrough here, and I will show you uh, a little bit about the adding the video portion. Because a lot of people don't initially understand, um, it's a little bit foreign. Not a lot of websites work this way. Most websites, they let you just stick the URL in, and that's fine. But here, we just want the video ID code. And this is the video, uh, this is the video ID code right here. This part right here. And if you looked at the original video, if you look at the original video, you'll see that it has um, a very particular place in the URL that that was pulled from. It was pulled from this portion right here. And normally, you see this stuff right here. This is all you'll see on a YouTube video. I just want to pause this here. Come on. There we go. It's going a little slow because I'm actually uploading another video uh, while I'm doing this. So this is the portion you want right here. This stuff right here is all you want. I'll post it again here so you can just you know really get this um, across to people. We just want the video ID code, which is this portion right here. That's all we want in our player. And once you do that, it will make it so it's perfectly configured for our blog. It won't be too small. It won't be too large. And that makes it a lot easier, I think, for people to submit their videos because they don't have to worry about dimensions and, and making sure that it plays in HD mode and, and so forth. Our player handles that all for, uh, all for you. Another thing is that it's sort of a security issue. You'll notice on some uh, various websites, maybe not a lot of gaming sites, but other websites where you can post videos. People will sometimes post stuff from like, you know, sex sites and stuff like that and embed it there and it'll play in the, in the post. And that can be problematic um, if you're trying to make a family-friendly website, which um, isn't going to have that kind of content. If you post a bunch of porn on there, you know, Google will start to see your site as being, you know, adult, uh, adult oriented. And that would be a problem for us. <laughs> so we don't allow that. And this is one of the measures that we have in place to ensure that people don't put videos that they're not supposed to put is by making sure that they come from YouTube. Because YouTube communities are very good at, at catching that stuff. Now, we are going to eventually support Blip TV, um, but for the moment, it's just YouTube videos. And that's how you do it. You just put it in brackets. Right in any post on, on our... You can also post it right here, but the brackets allow you to specifically place where you want it to be in the post. Because I'll just... Uh, yeah, as an example, I'll post the video ID up here, and you'll see what I mean. So now the video opens with the video player right here. Once it loads, there it is. Okay. So it would load with the video right up here at the top. And then all the other videos would also be, you know, throughout the video where I have them specifically placed. So that's a cool thing. And actually, you know what? I like it that way. I like it where the review stays right at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this actually you guys are witnessing an improvement in process on the website and now our walkthrough is better isn't that isn't that cool of course a little bit slow because I'm also uploading a video here on YouTube but but yeah look at that isn't that awesome it just works doesn't it it just works guys here in the United States we're used to buying our games in boxes from store for a lot of so, different types of content you can submit. Of course, you can submit videos, um, and you can also submit images. And this is all the images that we have submitted for Ragnarok Online right now. But uh, if you go to the very front of the page, you can see all the images that we have ever uh, had submitted for games. And all the different pages, you know, pages and pages of images. I've been very big on trying to make sure that there's an image for every game article. Because I want it to be that whenever you come to an article, you know, you find uh, an image for it. You know, I don't want it to be that it looks bad. I want it to look nice. Like, for example, right here, um, Jason, uh, the programmer of the site, actually, he's been putting a lot of effort in it, trying to make sure that there's images to go along for all the platforms. So everything looks really nice. But the Wonder Swan color, we don't have an image for it yet, so we'll have to get on that. And uh, I'll send him a link to an image so that he can put it up there. But otherwise, yeah, it looks pretty nice. This, of course, isn't all that filled in, but there are parts of it are, are fairly filled in. There's no description yet, and there's not any content really for it other than just the images, as you can see in the slider over here, the box art stuff. Let's go to another image. 
uh, another article, if you will, that has a little bit more content submitted for it. Let's see. Um, what can I go to that has more content submitted for it? There's so many games here, man. Oh, jeez. Um, I think let's go to an article that uh, Ian, uh, longtime fan Ian, has been working on. Of course, we don't have an image yet for uh, the Mac iOS operating system, although I have uh, sent him an image. Actually, I sent him this morning an image to put up there. So anyway, this is uh, an example of a page that he's been working on and getting going. And as you can see, he's got some MLI citations down here uh, to source where some of the information came from. And that's really what we want to see with our site. We want to see this type of very professional looking uh, our information that's really going to put us above everybody else I think because we actually conform to a citation system that everybody uses and we have an author here who, who made these contributions so I've talked about you know the type of information you could submit for an article I've talked about a walkthrough you know and, but what else can you do that you can't really do anywhere else what is what do we have that nobody else has well, we have this. We have a Let's Play search. Now, we, can, we call it a commentary because I want it to not just be able to cover Let's Plays, but also just people wanting to comment about a game. That doesn't really fall under the category of news or a review. You know, it's, just, it's a commentary. So there's all kinds of stuff you can put here. Um, here's Vlad, another one of our longtime um, fans of the show. He's posted one of his commentaries for Final Fantasy. And as you can see, by clicking more information over here, you can subscribe to his channel. You can see all the likes he's had to it and so forth. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. And, um, yeah, you can even play it. And it'll just load. You know, it just works. Um, you'll notice this stuff up here. And I don't really want to reveal too much about how this is going to work, but let's just say that we have a very unique voting system that is going to work in place here on our site. And once it's fully implemented, you guys will understand what all the experience people are earning uh, in the leaderboard here. I've got 4,760 points so far, so I'm in the lead. I've added the most stuff to the site. Um, but... All this stuff is going to be relevant to these options up here, which we're actually going to move over here a little bit more so they're more convenient and get icons filled in here. But um, the number of hearts a post will have will depend how popular it is in, in a nutshell is how that's going to work. Let's add a Let's Play video so that you guys can see how easy this is, how easy it really is. So I'm going to go to my channel. I'll just go straight to my channel and find a commentary that I've done. Let's see. I did a commentary for World uh, World of Warcraft. This one right here. Hi, I'm Zombie Jesus. <laughs> so, added this um I go over here and look for the watch page code and it can be kind of hard you know to see what it is there's so much gibberish up here but it's this part right here right between the equal sign and the and uh, the ampersand that's what we want so we'll take this and then I'll go over to the menu here add anything how, how much simpler could that be add anything anything you want to add you could add it right from this menu and I go down to walk um, no, not walkthroughs Let's Plays. That's what we want, Let's Plays. And then... Hi, I'm Zombie Jesus. Spell that right. And then I'll just post this right in here. And then, you know, if I want to include some of the text, you know, from here, I just go over here and I just copy it from my YouTube video. I just paste it in. Actually, I just want to go over here. Yeah. So then I can, you know, very quickly 
make some stuff to transfer to the site. And you can't do that in a lot of sites. You know, you go to ScrewTac or something, they want you to upload all these damn images for your... Uh, for your submission, and yeah, they have all these text fields to put in and so forth, you know, your little preview and, and all that stuff. And, you know, I know what they're trying to do, but it, it, I think it's really killed some of the community aspects of ScrewAttack because you have to go through so many steps to add content to their site. And here, you know, it's a lot simpler to add stuff. One thing they do have, uh, which is an improvement with their system, is that they don't have um, a bunch of like blank placeholder stuff. Um, I'll show you what I mean. You go over to the feed here for Let's Plays, and here's my new video, but it doesn't have an image. You know, there's no image associated with it. If, it, if I was on ScrewAttack, you could have an image uh, associated with it because you could choose what image you want. But that's a lot of hassle. What we're into, what we're eventually going to do is we're going to have it so that a thumbnail of whatever is in here is going to be right next to your video. We might even have it set so that it randomly selects one of the various images that have been submitted. So there's there's a little bit more diversity in the feeds, uh, so everything doesn't look the same. But I think that works a lot better because it's it's sort of like a compromise, really. So people don't have to constantly submit their own thumbnails and make their own thumbnails just to have something there. And it still looks relevant to the game. And it isn't just like this random screenshot, you know, from a YouTube video. It actually looks nice. And we can pick, uh, we can pick something from the game image box. So that's how we're eventually going to handle it. Um, the feature is being worked on. There's a couple kinks to, to, to figure out. But it's being done. And I'm very confident that Jason can get it done. And it will look nice. So that's how easy it really is to submit a Let's Play video on RPGFanatic.net. And while we don't have a lot of content Welcome right now, back. I'm pretty sure that back as back. we get more content on the site, people are going to come to it a lot more often to find new content. And, you know, content is king. And there's a lot of emphasis on the blog. Um, not the blog, but the, the wiki. Um, uh, for game articles and stuff. Now, I've put a lot of emphasis on the game articles. You know, I've written this long blog with all the instructions on how to submit stuff, you know, and it comes across very scholarly. And that is definitely part of our site, but that's not the whole of our site. Our site is about spreading information. That's, that's the general idea. We're about spreading information for RPG games. Right now, it's really focused on video games. But we're eventually going to have a, a second database, part of the site, for tabletop systems. And there's going to be some communication between the two databases so that people can really you know, share information. That's really what I want to do. I want to share information. That's why we have Let's Plays. That's why we have review submissions. You know, we have so much room dedicated here on the front page just to submissions that people have made. And that's what we're trying to do. That's what we're about. It's not just my content. You know, I'm up here in the feature box, but it's not just about me. You can also access all the stuff that we have on our site from the front page. And, you know, I didn't make this video. And hopefully there will be a lot more stuff. You know, I think that we will have done our job correctly when there's like maybe my content represents 1% of what's actually on our site. Then I will feel that I've succeeded with what we're trying to do with getting people to spread information and contribute to the discussion about this about this particular genre of games that's what we're really trying to do here and I hope that you can see the value in what we're trying to do and, and the value for you I mean you go on YouTube let, let's look at YouTube right now it's it's ridiculous I mean go up here I'm not logged in at all and you know what do you see Nicki Minaj, you know, that's what we need to see. We need to see Drake videos, you know, the Yogcast for the millionth time. And nothing really against those guys, but but damn, you know, when have I not seen something about the Yogcast on the front page of YouTube? You know, I, I you really don't see much except for a few of the same people again and again and again. You know, I'll go over here for gaming. You know, I guarantee you that my stuff is not going to pop up. You know, I, I guarantee you a lot of people's stuff is not going to pop up. It's the same people over and over and over. That's all it is. And there's no way to fight that on YouTube. So, how do you? 
you go to rpgfanatic.net and you submit your stuff and you encourage people to use the site and check it out. Your videos become freed from all the stuff that's going on on YouTube, all the, the related videos, feeds, and the likes and the dislikes. It's freed from all that crap and people can find it just by going to a game that they're interested in. Now, what game could you be interested in? Maybe it's Minecraft, you know? So go here. Someone goes to Minecraft. Just like that. It's loaded up. Here's Minecraft. You know? And here's the Let's Plays. Here's the reviews. Here's the walkthroughs on how to do stuff with Minecraft. And you could submit videos. You know, this is a blog. You go to Game FAQs. Let me, let me show you something here. You're really gonna, you're really gonna see the value of what we're doing when you see this. You go to Game FAQs. Okay? Let's go to Minecraft for, for game FAQs. The, which one probably is more active? It's probably the one for the PC. Isn't that stupid? I mean, PC. PC. <laughs> PC. What kind of platform is PC, really? I mean, what the hell? That is crazy. Okay, these are the platforms that Minecraft has been released for. Windows and uh, NX. Windows 95, 97, you know, 2000s, and so forth. The, the Windows uh, NX family. That's what it's been released for. It's been released for the Android, okay? And it's been released for Mac iOS. It's not been released for the PC. You know, I should probably have Windows 7 in there because I think that Minecraft also works with Windows 7. Um, I think it does... You know, I'll look that up later. But but that's my point. You know, the PC is not a platform. You know, PC doesn't really tell you anything. And then look at this. You know, web, Mac, I... What the hell? Game of Figures is all fucked up recently. Um, but anyway, you know, here's their FAQs for it. You know, and you, and you load this up. And they're still using, you know, this, this ASCII text art stuff. You know? It's freaking war... It's, it's freaking WordPad. And people have gone, um, spent a lot of time trying to make WordPad look nice, but it's still ultimately WordPad, you know. It's, it's WordPad. And, and here's their wiki, you know, the table of contents that people can contribute stuff, you know, t to make it. But you're going to notice something here. There ain't no frickin' videos. You know why there's no frickin' videos? Because if you put a monetized video onto GameFAQs, they will ban your account. I'm not joking. They'll do it. They will ban your account. Because GameFAQs does not want anybody else to make money using their site. They don't want anybody else to get exposure from their website. They want it to be all about them. Even though you are submitting all your stuff to them. You know, they're making money off of you guys, uh, your guys' submissions. You see this? You see this freaking ad here? They're making money off of what you guys are submitting. And you're not able to get anything back from that. But if you go to game, uh, if you go from game FAQs to rpgfanatic.net, you can post your monetized YouTube video here, or you can get traffic to a small channel that doesn't have a lot of traffic, and then you can apply for a partnership because now you have traffic because now people can find your stuff and see it. I mean, I don't know how else to tell you guys the benefits of of putting stuff on our site because although we do have ads over here the primary reason we have our ads here is so that we can pay for server hosting you know we don't need to have a bunch of splashes here for the witcher 2 in order to pay for something like that you know we can have it by having lasik both eyes you know a lasik ad for laser spine surgery or something you know so um that's what i wanted to share with you guys today I hope that you have learned something from this video about the benefits of using our site. And um, on that note, I'm going to just leave you with one more thing, one more feature that we're working on, and that I think you guys are going to find really cool. This is the legend on my page. And this is very much, I wouldn't even call this a beta version of our legend. I would call this our alpha you know, concept test of our legend. It's kind of like an achievement, but it's a little bit different. Our legend is going to track your achievements on the website. It's going to track your actions. And a lot of sites, they have achievements. You know, This one right here is marking the first time that I added a classification to the website. 
This one here is when I made my account, you know. But here's the thing. It's all displayed in chronological order of when this stuff was done. So you have a history with the site. When you do it on something like Giant Bomb, you know, it's not it's not organized that way. It's just kind of random. It's like a, a Boy Scout merit badge, you know, sleeve or something. You know, it's just all over the place. But here, it's chronological order. And we're going to have subsystems that tie into your achievements. And we're going to have some achievements that build on top of other achievements. And it will tie into a, a function that I call character classes. This isn't implemented yet. Um, at least it's not publicly visible, I should say. There's parts of it that are being tracked on the site. But you're going to level up your classes based on the activity you do on the site. What am I talking about? There is a class on RPGFanatic.net, which is called Videologist. You earn experience for it by uploading videos. And as every time you uh, level up, you are going to unlock new abilities that have to do with submitting video content. This is... You know, this is an amazing thing that we're doing with this site. It really is. Nobody else is doing what we're doing. They really aren't. There's some people that have dabbled in it, but they've never done it right. And we are, are highly motivated to getting it right, to making our website about games itself a, a fun game, about sharing information about the games that we love. You know, it's, it's kind of meta in that way. So leave you with that. So thanks for watching this video guys and I hope that uh, after the previous video has gone live we've got a lot more you know, interest in the site, more people contributing to it and I'll have greater things to talk about in the newsletter along with whatever other changes that we're making to the website because every week like I said in the previous video we're gonna be adding something new to the site. So every time you come back every week you will see something new. It might be a bug fix, might be a brand new feature. You'll have to come back and see. So thanks guys, and I'll see you uh, next time.